everybody and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers the Movie Studio Series Core Class Ratchet, a figure which has actually surprisingly turned out to be pretty decent. Now as we take a very quick look here at the box art we get a really cool image of the character moments before he's instantly destroyed by Megatron. You can see he's fighting for his life with those dual pistols. We get the Transformers the Movie logo here at the base, another cool piece of artwork of the character. Some product shots here at the back as well as him screaming for his life moments moments before he's about to be rusting in peace and an attention to detail which I thought was really sweet on Hasbro's part is they've actually given us his death scene as the backdrop with included bullet holes so these have definitely been through Ironhide, Ratchet, Prowl and Brawn and I actually thought that was a pretty sweet attention to detail. Now as we take a look at Ratchet himself surprisingly this guy is way better than I was expecting when some of the official images dropped for him I wasn't that impressed but after having him in hand he's actually really cool and from a design perspective in some ways is better than his deluxe release as he doesn't parts form. Now as we take a look at the details, the head sculpt surprisingly is actually really cool. We'll no doubt see this core figure repainted into Ironhide like we're going to see the Voyager counterpart of Ironhide retooled and repainted into Ratchet but a very nicely painted and sculpted head. I think the inside chest looks awesome much like I mentioned in that Voyager Ironhide review. I think they're doing a great job in actually giving the masterpiece figures a run for their money as even this $10 core class release has eliminated the bumper yet still retains the the headlights. All of the windows are painted here for the chest and this has to be one of the first Ratchet releases in a very long time to actually have some kind of ambulance detail for the shoulders so I thought that was a really nice touch. You can see those Autobot logos too look great and he also has the proper red fists which G1 Ratchet should have so that too was also something his deluxe counterpart was missing. Now as we come down here to this midsection I think for the most part this comes together nicely. Some cool red paint and the legs yeah they're a little chunky but truth be told nowhere near as bad in hand and like I said previously, I've actually had way more fun with this guy than I was expecting. So design-wise, I think he's decent. Even as we take a look at him here from the back, you can see a very clean profile, which is super cool considering that none of these pieces do detach. Now, articulation-wise, Ratchet does have a swivel joint here at the head, which can look left to right. We do get ball joints here at the shoulders, both rotating forwards and backwards and up and down, which I thought was neat. So a really nice dynamic range where those are concerned. 90-degree bend there at the elbow, as well as surprisingly a waist rotation although you do have to take this panel and lift it up but that will allow him to rotate left to right so you can get him into some of those more dynamic poses as he's trying to face off against Starscream and Megatron. We also do get ball joints at the hips which can kick forward, kick back out to the sides so definitely built for running as this guy should be considering he's about to be destroyed. We also do get some ball joints here at the knees, a decent range here going backwards. It's not quite to 90 but it's okay and sadly the feet are fixed into place so nothing where they're concerned. Now he does actually include two blasters which I thought was a nice attention to detail fully painted in silver and they are asymmetrical so they do have the tabs inverted which I thought was pretty sweet so overall a very nicely done looking core class figure I'm actually pleasantly surprised here for some comparisons we have Ratchet alongside the core class Kingdom Optimus Prime and Hot Rod Starscream and Soundwave core class Bumblebee and finally the studio series Voyager class Ironhide the mold that will next time round see Ratchet sport which I actually think is going to be really really cool now to Turning to transformation, I can't recall Ratchet ever actually transforming in the movie, but I guess if you've got any of those blast effects and you want to transform him into the only thing that he does become in the film, that being a corpse, you can kind of slap that on there and definitely recreate that death scene. I'm just kidding with you guys. To transform Ratchet, it's actually fairly complex for a core class. So to start off, firstly, you are going to want to bring this chest unit forward, take the head and duck this in. And I have noticed that it's vaguely familiar to that Voyager class studio series Ironhide, which is cool. You'll then want to take this back piece, fold this up and rotate all the way around so that the front is now facing the back. What we can then do is rotate these shoulders around just like this. Take this shoulder joint and rotate this piece around and do the same here for this side. Then hinge these sections out bring these pieces into the body and as you guys can see there is a tab that will clip over the top of that part of the arm. Then what we can do is bring the torso section forwards, hinge the ball joints out to the sides, then rotate here at the knee and repeat the same process here for this side. Flip up this panel and do the same here for this. Bring this over the top of this tab here and do the same snap those sections into place there is a tiny little slot here that will peg into this tab so just bring this panel down clip that there into place 
And there we have the Studio Series Core Class Ratchet fully transformed up into his pretty cool looking ambulance mode. Now for a Core Class figure, I think this figure is great. Definitely one of the strongest entries that we've seen into this line. And I know there'll be some out there wondering as to why Hasbro even bothers giving us these bigger characters in the smaller scale point. Well, it's just to give collectors a more affordable opportunity in owning some of these main cast members. And personally, I think they're actually really cool. Now, as we take a look at the details, I'm going to be straight up and say, I actually think in terms of a design, this is way nicer looking when in comparison to the version that we saw for Earthrise, which is pretty bonkers considering that this is $10 and depending on how cheap you could find that deluxe offering, this is just way better value for money. I really love the detail that we have for the front. Like I mentioned previously, the bumper does appear here for vehicle mode, whereas it is absent in the bot mode. We do get the headlights. I love how all of the windows are painted. We get the light bar, which is actually sculpted into the back piece, so it's not removable, but we do get some nice detail. I like the sculpt work along the side. It would have been cool had some of these components been picked out in blue, but regardless, definitely comes together to form a pretty sweet looking alt mode. And as far as the weapon storage goes, you'll notice how we have two notches on either side that you'll just take the blasters and peg those into and do the same here for this side. So truth be told, Ratchet should have transformed in that shuttle and literally rammed the Decepticons with these blasters as maybe he would have stood a better chance than he did in the film, but definitely a really nicely done looking ambulance vehicle mode. Comparison wise, here we have him alongside the core class Optimus Prime and Hot Rod, and I think they're pretty nicely matched. Definitely a decent scale for core class. You can see same size as Prime, but a tad bit smaller than Hot Rod. Here he is next to Bumblebee, who I believe is the smallest core class entry that we've seen released so far. And finally, the Studio Series Voyager Class Ironhide, just so you guys can see how their alt modes shape up. And considering this is a core class and this is a Voyager, I actually think they did a pretty decent job in recreating the alt mode for this scale class. Definitely a really nice looking vehicle mode. And so, some final thoughts for the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Ratchet. In all, I think it's another really nicely done figure, especially for the price and scale point. You do have to factor in mind that not every collector can go spending money on a Voyager or a deluxe version, especially in the case of the Earthrise release. So this is a really nice affordable option and a pretty decent representation of the character. I think the robot mode for the most part looks great. Yeah, the legs are a little clunky where the feet are concerned, but it's a core class. What are you going to do? The transformation surprisingly is super involved. You could basically take this, upscale it to a deluxe class and you'd have a pretty decent figure, one that would probably be better than his deluxe Earthrise counterpart. And the ambulance sort mode I think is better than that previous deluxe release. Of course, we're going to see this figure repainted and retooled into a core Ironhide and vice versa with the Voyager release. So for those who are not a fan of Voyager or you're not a fan of core class, then there are options out there for you guys to pick up. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think this is a figure worth adding to the collection? And what do you guys think in general about Hasbro giving us these bigger scale characters in the core class? As always, I thank you all so much for watching and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.